this time it's actually morning. Hi guys, it is Friday, February 22nd. Yes, I know the date. Today is a good day. I'm doing really well. And we are going to have a weekend vlog. It's really nice not working in a hospital full time anymore because weekends actually mean weekend to me. I love it. I missed it. It's wonderful. But like I said, today is Friday. It is still work day, so I will be working. I'm also doing school and lots of other things today to basically make myself free for the weekend. Zach and I have some plans this weekend, some stuff we want to get done, so we will take you along on the ride. But first, we need to see if my Prime Pantry box got here because, yeah, um... <laughs> Embarrassing. So, um, we're out of toilet paper. And you guys know I'm a Crohn's patient. I have a GI disorder and we don't have toilet paper. It's my fault. It's my fault. I meant to order it like a week ago and I just refused to go to the store because I'm antisocial and very introverted. So, um, yeah, I, I ordered it late and oh my gosh, it was supposed to come tomorrow. So imagine if we had to go that long without toilet paper. Right now we're using tissues and we're running pretty low on them too. So I'm going to go see if the box got here yet. And if it did, I will show you what's in it. Well, I didn't exactly think this through. Um, probably would have been easier just to go to the store because how the heck am I getting these inside? <laughs> but I got the boxes inside. Whew. I know, bro, I'm feeling it too. I'm feeling it too, you good boy. <laughs> All right, guys, let me show you what I got in my Prime Pantry box. Okay, so I just opened up both boxes and I have them on either side of me. Um, using my trusty knife. Zach got me this for Christmas this year and I'm so afraid I'm gonna hurt myself with it, so let's just put it away. And I'm going to show you all the items I got. Like I said, I'm going to be leaning over. My chair is going to be squeaking, so hopefully you enjoy this. I've had people on other videos, like when I go shopping or I get these Prime boxes, ask me to show what I got. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to do it as quickly as I can because I don't want to bore people who don't care. Okay, so first things first, the most important thing that I needed and refused to go to the store for is toilet paper. It's upside down. <laughs> There you go. Quick backstory. As a child, my father got us the like half apply Scott tissue roll, whatever. And I look back on my childhood and I have a lot of memories of just really hating that toilet paper, particularly as a Crohn's patient. I spent literally half of my day every single day for at least 10 years in the bathroom beside that toilet paper. I'm happy to announce to all of you, as an adult, you can pick your own toilet paper. So I like the ultra soft one. I usually get Charmin. They didn't have Charmin. So I got the Amazon brand and it's fine. It does the job. I got a lot of toilet papers. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, what else do we have here? Um, first thing I'm seeing is these disinfecting wipes. These are the same as the Clorox ones, but don't tell anybody, shh, they're just cheaper, but they work. So I got two of these. I also got parchment paper because sometimes I bake cookies, sometimes I don't, but I am just like to have them around. I got some fabric softener liquid, a downy odor protect because apparently I'm disgusting. So there's that. Oh, and apparently I got the gain version as well. This one is plant-based. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what that means, but I don't know what that means for fabric softener. Don't question Maggie logic. It, it, isn't logic. I got some Method Wood for Good cleaner. I was really going for the laundry stuff this time. I got some Bounce, um, 
dryer sheets dryer sheets and I got some laundry detergent I just get the gain because I really don't care uh let's see I also got a giant thing of mini pretzels what an oxymoron I love it <laughs> and then I also have the best cleaner um, carpet cleaner stain master carpet pet deep cleaner I definitely recommend getting a like machine carpet cleaner if you have more than one dog. Okay, coming to the other box over here. I got some of the Kashi cereal. This is my favorite type of cereal, um, and this is my favorite flavor of it, but they never have it in stores, so I have to get it on Amazon. I got the Clorox Bleach Gel Cleaner for our shower. I think I got two of them, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. I got two of them. And I also bought a scrubby brush, but that was not part of the pantry thing. It was just Amazon Prime. The other thing that's really great for pet owners is this, um, what, what the heck is this? Baking soda. Uh, basically, you sprinkle it on your carpet and it helps lift any gross things in your carpet and makes it smell really nice. We constantly vacuum up um, another holly. If anybody would like a fur ball, like... Call your girl up, because I got plenty. Okay, I also got some hair products. So I got this Garnier Fertie Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. I have not used this since I was like 15, so this will be exciting. I recently had a little sample size baby thing of the conditioner, and I loved it. It was like when I was traveling. So I bought two of these guys, and I'm very excited to use them. They're like kind of big, but this doesn't last as long. I think that Zach conditions his hair like multiple times a day. Okay, I also got some bubble bath because why not? I got this along with something else. Hold on, let me put this down. I got the bubble bath to go along with this lavender infused Epsom salt. So Zach really likes taking bubble baths. <laughs> this is mainly for him. I got him Epsom salt and the bubble bath and I'll use it too, but like, and then I got more of the method cleaner. This is just the regular cleaner. Why one is wrapped up and the other is just like free flowing, ready to go, ready to burst on your floor and make a mess. I don't know. And the very, very last thing in my box, toothbrushes. Because I go through toothbrushes a lot. I tend to chew on them, so. Yeah, so I've had that Prime Pantry deal since, so oh gosh, a couple years now, I think, I've been doing it. I just find it really useful because um, I don't have a lot of muscle tone here, <laughs> clearly. So me carrying home 30 pounds of random crap from the grocery store is not going to happen. Plus, I like that it's just delivered to almost my door, almost. For normal people who don't live on a farm where there are multiple buildings, it's delivered to your door, but it definitely makes things easier. I'm actually going to put a link below that um, you can do a trial of Prime Pantry, a 30-day trial. Basically, the way Prime Pantry works is you pay a small amount for the shipping, and then there are all these different discounts on the website. I find that a lot of the stuff that I get is actually cheaper on the Amazon Prime Pantry than if I were to go to, like, Walmart. So that's kind of another reason I do it. I'm really cheap. But anyway, you pay the $5 shipping fee and then you can get like two giant boxes, such as I did, delivered. So I will put a link below if you wanna try it. If you do use that link and you sign up, it does help me, just my little disclaimer, through the Amazon affiliate program. Okay guys, I need to go study. I need to do 11 health work and Zach will be home later tonight. All right guys, so Zach's home. <laughs> So what is the plan for tomorrow? <coughs> Ooh, See if he remembers. Wake, breakfast and coffee. Obviously. Uh, W-A-L-K for the D-O-Gs that are around us. I think they're learning to spell. Fish store and Longwood Gardens. Yay, and that was a dog tail. <laughs> I'm very excited for Longwood. It's my favorite place. The orchid extravaganza. Yes. Yes, I love the flowers. <laughs> All right, well, we are going to enjoy our Friday night and we will see you in the morning. All right, guys, it is Saturday, February 23rd, and we have had a kind of busy-ish morning. Um, here is Zach again. We got up, we had coffee, we had crepes that I made because I'm Delicious. a, I'm a chef. I'm a master chef here. You're welcome. Then we went to our like fish store that we always go to because they had a seminar. Um, and now we are on our way to Longwood Gardens because 
I wanted to go. And they're doing their orchid show. And we're um, members. And we're members, so that's the only reason we go. He got me um, a membership card for the year, so I have a video of our first day going back in May. Do you want to hear our wedding singer? No question. That, that, that wasn't the I do in the <laughs> marriage sense, but I do wish to hear her, or him, I believe her. Oh my gosh, yesterday was so much fun. It is now Sunday morning. <laughs> it's kind of late. It's like 11 a.m., but Zach is still asleep because we stayed up probably until 2. Not the smartest idea, but it's fine. But yeah, I get a lot of questions uh, when I post pictures from where we went yesterday. So if you're interested in going, the place is called Longwood Gardens. It's in Pennsylvania. And it's not just inside, so they have this major inside like greenhouse, but the grounds of the place are insane and they have so many other things. It's just, it's closed in the winter. We're gonna go back in the springtime and that's when they really amp up and they just have like so many things. You could probably see from the video that like, there's still a ton to do inside. Coincidentally, yesterday I got my shipment of amaryllis bulbs. And you guys are probably sick of me talking about amaryllis, but I love them. I love them almost as much as I love lilies. So today we are going to do a little bit of shopping. We're going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's, whatever. I forget which one we go to. I think we go to Lowe's actually. We're going to get some plant stuff, some like containers, so I can plant all of these amaryllis bulbs. I got 30 white. I think Alaskan hardy something amaryllis and then I would like to replant about 20 of my current bulbs a lot of my bulbs are like red or red and white striped or orange so I'm gonna replant those as well into just like one container where they can all be together and I can treat them kind of like as if they were in a greenhouse what do we get a lot <laughs> Just a few seeds and stuff. bags with probably 20 plus seeds a bag, so six, seven hundred range. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, whoops. All right, we are on our way to get all the plant stuff I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and I have my driver again and his green coat. I'm thinking maybe we should get you a new jacket because you've had that for Seven years, six years, something like no, it's that. Strong. Since I've known you. Used to say Columbia on it and now it says like Alumba or something like that. Yeah. Umba. Hm. Yeah. It... Or I don't know. He's gotten his money's worth at least. Okay. Well, the entire back of my vehicle is filled with stuff. We had to do grocery shopping even though I don't like going to the <sighs> store. And now I'm invisible. Zach is the super bagger. Sorry, I'm eating some lovely cheese. It's here. But he is the super bagger, so all the baggers apparently leave when they see him come in the store. He treats it like a game of Tetris. <laughs> anyway, since I'm blurring out, we're gonna head home, unpack, and he's gonna study. I'm probably gonna pass out. <laughs> Ooh, my hair is doing something funky here. 
Ah. All right guys, it is actually a few hours later. <laughs> I never got a nap because I started messing around with my plants and um, this is part of the house that I don't show a lot in vlogs. This is our hot tub room. <laughs> But it is not a functioning hot tub. It um, never has been, at least not while we've been here. It was, I'm assuming, previously. But it is such a large space that we don't utilize. So Zach and I figured we could use it for plants right now. So I have a couple grow lights up. I have one there and one right here. And I planted a bunch of the seeds and stuff. I have echinacea and some zinnias and some poppies and little mini amaryllis bulbs all the way in the back and some of my older ones right here that obviously have leaves on them and then we did all of our vegetables in this one so um, I didn't do quite as much as I've done in the past just because there are certain things I've had success with and other things that I haven't so I'm just avoiding the stuff that I haven't had success with but since it is Sunday night it's getting late um, we've had a very busy weekend I think I'm going to say goodbye and relax because tomorrow is Monday which means back to work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next. Bye!